the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt is the head of state of Egypt. Under the various iterations of the Constitution of Egypt, the President is also the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and head of the Executive Branch of the Egyptian Government. History The first President of Egypt was Mohamed Negub, one of the leaders of the Egyptian Revolution of 1952. He took office on June 18, 1953, the day on which the constitutional monarchy of Egypt was overthrown. Following the 2011 Egyptian Revolution, Hosni Mubarak, who held office from October 14, 1981 until February 11, 2011, was forced to resign following calls for his removal from office. On February 10, 2011 Mubarak transferred presidential powers to then-Vice President Omar Suleiman, briefly making Suleiman de facto president. Following Mubarak's resignation, the position of President of Egypt was officially vacated and the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, led by Field Marshal Mohamed Hussein Tantawi, assumed executive control of the state. On June 30, 2012, Mohamed Morsi was sworn in as President of Egypt, having won the 2012 Egyptian presidential election on June 24. Equals old electoral system equals. The Egyptian constitution has had various forms since its 1953 change to become a republic. Under the 1980 amendments of the 1971 Egyptian constitution, the president of the republic was elected indirectly in a two-stage system unique to Egypt. The FIOPLI Euro unregistered trademark S Assembly, the lower house of parliament, nominated one of a number of candidates for presidency. The presidential candidate required at least a two-thirds majority in the FIOPLI Euro unregistered trademark S Assembly in order to proceed to the second stage of the elections, in which the candidate was confirmed by popular plebiscite. Equals 2005-2007 constitutional amendments equals, in 2005 and 2007, constitutional amendments were made. Principles in the amended constitution include, the election of the President of the Republic by direct secret ballot from among all citizens who have the right to vote. Ensuring that multiple candidates be put forward for the people to choose from. Ensuring the credibility of the nomination process. Providing the opportunity for political parties to put forward one of their leaders to contest the first presidential elections to be held in light of the amendment. The establishment of a presidential election commission that would enjoy complete independence to supervise the election process. Carrying out the election in a single day. Ensuring judicial supervision over the voting process. The following provisions regarding the election process are stipulated in Article 76 as amended. A successful candidate must be elected by the majority of the votes. If no candidate attains such a majority, Elections will be repeated after at least seven days between the two candidates having the highest votes. In case of a tie between the candidate who attain the second highest votes and a third candidate, the third candidate shall participate in the second round. The candidate who receives the highest votes in the second round shall be declared president. The amendment also provides that a law will be passed to regulate the relevant election procedures. This law is expected to regulate the various aspects of the election process itself, including campaign funding, equal access to the media, and guarantees of fair competition. As required by the amendment, the law will be submitted to the Supreme Constitutional Court to opine on its constitutionality. This establishes an important precedent in Egypti Euro unregistered trademark S legal tradition by which the Supreme Constitutional Court shall have the right of prior review of national legislation to decide on its compatibility with the Constitution. This differs from the practice thus far by which the review process undertaken by the Court on national legislation was done by judicial review subsequent to the passage of legislation. Presidential powers, under the system created by the 1980 constitutional amendments, the President is the preeminent executive figure, who names the Prime Minister of Egypt. During martial law, the President also anoints deans of faculties and majors, and can also enlist or oust people in the private sector. Egypt had been under martial law since 1981. After the revolution in 2011-2012, the martial law was suspended. Requirements to hold office, 
Article 141 of the Egyptian Constitution establishes the requirements one must meet in order to become president. The President of the Republic should be an Egyptian citizen, be born to Egyptian parents, have participated in the military or be exempted from it and cannot be less than 40 years old. Election Election procedures are taken before the end of the incumbent president Euro unregistered trademark S term by 60 days. Equals candidacy equals, additional requirements were provisioned in Article 142 of the Egyptian Constitution concerning candidates for the president's office. Candidates must have the recommendation of 20 members of the House of Representatives or the endorsement of 25,000 people across 15 governorates, with at least 1,000 signatures from each. Presidential campaign. Equals presidential election commission equals, the amendment to Article 76 of the Constitution provides for the establishment of AA Euro OE presidential election commission a Euro that would have complete independence, and would be charged with a supervision of the presidential election process. The commission will be composed of ten members, presided by the Chief Justice of the Supreme Constitutional Court and four other ex officio members of the judiciary who are the most senior serving deputy president of each of the Supreme Constitutional, the Court of Cassation, and the High Administrative Court, and the President of the Cairo Court of Appeal. The rest of the commission will be made up from five independent and neutral public figures, three to be selected by the People's Assembly and two to be selected by the Shura Council. Decisions of this committee shall be passed by a majority of seven votes. This commission will have a term of five years and will be exclusively competent to supervise the presidential election process, including accepting nominations, announcing the names of accepted candidates, supervision of election procedures, vote counting and announcement of the results. It will also have final judicial competence to rule on any contesting or challenge submitted in relation to the presidential elections and its decision will be final and subject to no appeal. The committee will issue its own regulations and shall be competent to establish general subcommittees from among members of the judiciary, to monitor the various phases of the election process, under its supervision. The election process will be completed in one day. Equals inauguration and oath of office equals, in accordance with Article 79 of the Constitution, the President must take the following oath or affirmation before exercising his functions, I swear by Allah the Almighty to sincerely maintain the Republican system, to respect the Constitution and law, to fully care about the interests of the people, and to maintain the independence and territorial integrity of the homeland. Equals term, S, of office equals, under the Constitution, the President serves for Gregorian year starting from the date of the announcement of result of the plebiscite. The President of the Republic may be re elected once. The Constitution specifies the number of terms a President shall remain in office to be limited to two terms. If the President elect is announced before the end of the incumbent President Euro unregistered trademark S term, the incumbent President continues in office until the end of his term. Equals succession equals, in the case of temporary incapacitation of the President, the Constitution provides the President to relinquish his powers to the Prime Minister. However the person who takes office is limited in power as the new President cannot dissolve the Parliament, propose constitutional amendments or remove the Cabinet from office. In case of the vacancy of the Presidential Office or the permanent incapacitation of the President, the Speaker of the Fiopli Euro Unregistered Trademark S Assembly shall temporarily assume the Presidency. In case the Fiopli Euro unregistered trademark S assembly is dissolved at such a time the President of the Supreme Constitutional Court shall take over the presidency on condition that neither shall nominate himself for the presidency. Both are also limited in power as in they cannot dissolve the parliament, remove the cabinet, or propose constitutional amendments. The Fiopli Euro unregistered trademark S assembly shall then proclaim the vacancy of the office of president and a new president shall be chosen within a maximum period of 60 days from the date of the vacancy of the office. The Constitution does not directly stipulate any role for the Prime Minister in the process of presidential succession, when the former post of Vice President still existed it was a tradition for the People's Assembly to nominate the Vice President for the vacant office of the President. Both Sadat and Mubarak served as Vice Presidents at the time the presidential office became vacant, 
However on Mubarak's succession in 1981 as president he did not appoint a vice president until January 29, 2011 when during substantial protests demanding reforms he appointed Omar Suleiman to the role. Equals resignation equals, President Gamal Abdel Nasser submitted his resignation after the overwhelming Egyptian defeat in 1967 war with Israel, before returning to office after mass demonstrations by the Egyptian public. President Mubarak also resigned on February 11, 2011 after 18 days of protest against his regime. The president may resign by delivering his resignation to the People's Assembly under the 2012 and 2014 constitutions. Equals official residences equals, the presidency in Egypt controls eight presidential residences in addition to other presidential guest houses. Egypt's official residence and office of the president is Heliopolis Palace in Cairo. Other presidential palaces include, Abdane Palace, in Old Cairo, Cairo. Kaubi Palace, in Cairo. Ras al Palace, in Alexandria, Monteza Palace, in Alexandria. Al Chara Palace, in Cairo, Al Aroba Palace, in Cairo. See also, List of Presidents of Egypt, List of Presidents of Egypt by Time in Office, Prime Minister of Egypt, List of Rulers of Egypt. References External links The Egyptian President, Egypti Euro Unregistered Trademark S Second Republic